No, that's spinning. Stop moving. Stop moving. Hello. <laughs> Hi, you're doing great. <laughs> oh no. You know it's not going well. <laughs> when? Hello YouTube, welcome back to The Every Closet here on YouTube. My name's Ethan and along with my partner Stephanie, we run The Every Closet on Poshmark, both US and Canada, as well as eBay. So if you are a full-time, part-time, anytime reseller and you want more reseller content, be sure to drop a like, hit subscribe, follow Steph over on Instagram at The Every Closet. For today's video, I know a lot of you have been messaging us questions about Prime Lister, so because we talk about it so often, I thought maybe I'd make a video just to do a quick walkthrough of some of the things that you can do on Prime Lister to make your work and life a little bit easier. Um, and it also give those of you who aren't using Prime Lister a bit of an idea of what is out there in case you're looking for a cross-listing or inventory management app. And just a quick note before we get started, while we do have an affiliate link for Prime Lister, where any signups using that link do support us, we are not sponsored by Prime Lister. I just figured this might be a nice video to make because I know some of you have started using Prime Lister, um, and I want to make sure that you get the most out of it. So once you have your Prime Lister extension installed, we use Google Chrome for ours. Uh, you will be able to import the inventory that you've already listed from your closet into Prime Lister, and you will also be able to cross-list it. So first we'll start with an import. So usually what I do is I go here to, let's say I had just posted three items on Poshmark Canada. So we sort it by Justin. We select the top three listings there. And now I want to import them into our Prime Lister inventory. So we click import, and it'll go through the process of importing that. So here you can see the three tabs I have open are Prime Lister, Poshmark US, Poshmark Canada. Okay. So those have now been imported. So when I go over here to Prime Lister and I refresh the page, you'll see at the very top, those three items I just imported are now there. So this will always be sorting by default. Uh, the things closest to the top are most recently imported all the way down. So we have about 2,000 or 3,000 things in Prime Lister. So you see we have 129 pages there. Um, and Prime Lister really does make it a lot easier to manage your inventory when you're looking to cross-list on multiple platforms. So just so you can see here, the cross-listed platforms that you can use are Mercari, Poshmark US, Poshmark Canada as well, but it doesn't show up because this item came from Poshmark Canada. Um, if I click on one that's just on US, you'll see you can cross-list to Canada. Uh, Poshmark AU, Facebook, Etsy, eBay US, eBay.ca, eBay.au, Depop, and Instagram. Uh, with Depop, I've had some issues cross-listing there. I'm hoping they kind of work out some of the bugs. Um, issues like it only will cross-list in British pounds or US dollars, and sometimes that's not what you want. So hopefully they'll look at that, but their support has been really good to deal with so far. Um, so let's say I have these Looky Mustard yellowed heels, and I want to cross-list them from Poshmark Canada to Poshmark US and eBay. So I just check it over here, and I say cross-list. I check these boxes and cross-list to two marketplaces. You can do multiple at a time. I usually do up to about six to eight at a time, because if you do any more and one bugs out, it might mess up the rest of them. Um, but you'll see it here, it opens up two new tabs. Oh, there's Orca. Yeah. Wait, please. Thank you. It'll take a few minutes to just fill in your details, so that is probably one of the reasons you want to batch this into six to eight items at a time. 
just so they can all load in the background. Um, so here is the item. It'll automatically pull all the photos. So I'll show you Poshmark first and then I'll show you eBay. So Poshmark will pull details from one Posh closet to the other. It'll keep all the photo settings from the first closet and it'll import all of this stuff for you. What it won't do is anything in the drop down menu. So it won't fill in the category. So usually what I will do to make my cross listing a little easier is I'll just go here, click on the item that was originally posted on Poshmark Canada, and I'll open that up and I'll use it to fill in the details that Prime Lister can't pull. So women's shoes, heels in an EU size 37 and a half. We'll just quickly fill those in. EU 37 and a half. And these are by the brand Lookie. And the colors are yellow and Spain Spanish mustard. So now we have all those details filled in. It also will not fill in the original price that you set. So we have that set as 150. Um, we don't account for the conversion. We just, whatever Steph puts as the original price, I will carry that over exactly into uh, any other platforms we cross listed onto um, because it is close. It's not entirely accurate, but we don't have time to go find original prices in multiple currencies. So that is what we do. Um, we might adjust the original price down if we're cross-listing something that is much more expensive, like our Versace jacket. I know we, we lowered the price for that because obviously if it was like three grand in Canada, it probably wasn't three grand in the US as well. Um, the other nice thing that Prime Lister will pull is if you use the SKU category at the bottom under additional details in your Poshmark listing that you're cross-listing from, uh, it will pull that information. So in this item, it didn't have a SKU um, because it's a shoe, it doesn't go into our regular inventory system, uh, but it will pull those items, uh, SKUs into Prime Lister and into Poshmark or eBay. So that's a nice thing to note there. So all of the details are filled in, we hit list. And then you'll see once that cross listing goes through, it'll pop up with a little notification down here saying cross listing completed. And sure enough, if we go back to Prime Lister and refresh the page, we will see here that those looky sandals at the top are listed now both on poshmark.ca and poshmark US, poshmark.com. So uh, now we'll do the eBay listing. eBay listings do take just more work um, but there's it's also nice that there are more things you can fill in i have a few presets that i use to fill in for ebay listings so i'll just go ahead and fill those in now Okay, so I just hit list item. It's now submitting the listing. And there you go, success, you've listed your item for sale. And again, you get that Google Chrome notification just saying that the cross listing was completed. 
That lets you know that Prime Lister has picked up the completed listing and will now show it. Again, if we refresh our Prime Lister inventory tab, now it'll also show it as being listed on eBay. So that's great. Um, so that's how you cross list basically. Oh, here's Orca, Got to say hello. Please go over there. Thank you, sir. So that is how you cross list. Now let's go through some of the other things that you can do once you're on Prime Lister, looking at individual items and some of the ways that we use it. So first, uh, if we're ever looking for an item, one of the easiest ways to find its SKU number, because again, if you put an SKU number in your original listing, and then you import that into Prime Lister, and then you start cross-listing from that, it will pull your SKU number with it into Prime Lister. All right, so let's say that you want to find the SKU of, say, a Lululemon item. You're like, where is that again? I can't remember. And you don't want to go through the trouble of finding it in your closet, clicking on Edit Listing and scrolling down. Uh, you can just go to Prime Lister, type the name of the product in the search bar up here in Prime Lister. And so if we say Lululemon, let's say the item I'm looking for is this first one here, I'll see it has an SKU of 983. So that means it's number 983 in those bins behind me. Now let's say, on the other hand, maybe I find out for some reason that we actually put the wrong number in the SKU when we imported it. So if I want to change any of these details, I can just go over here to Edit Listing. It'll open a new tab. And there you go, I can edit the SKU number if that moves for whatever reason. Uh, I can also edit the name here. Doing these edits here on Prime Lister won't automatically update the listings that you cross-listed. Uh, however, you can delete those listings and re-cross-list them if you want. Um, or when you're relisting items, it should pick these details that you've manually updated up. Um, Prime Lister is the main way we manage our inventory. So like if I'm ever looking for something, I go to Prime Lister to find it. I don't go to the Poshmark closets or the eBay store to find it. Uh, so now onto tags and groups. This item you'll see does not have any tags, but it does have a group that's live on both Poshes. So the reason for this and what I'd recommend you do if you are just starting a second closet and want to start cross-listing items over is you take advantage of the group feature. So what this does is you can basically import your entire Poshmark closet all at once into Prime Lister. I'm doing it just the same way we did at the start, just literally checking the box for all of the items in your closet click import, and then it'll bring them into your Prime Lister inventory here. Now, what we did when we first got Prime Lister and wanted to start cross-listing things from Canada to the US closet, I, we created a group of live on both poshes to tell us, hey, this item is here. Again, it does show two platforms that it's listed on, so this is a little bit redundant, but we also had manually cross-listed some things. So for us, this group was kind of needed because there were times where we had items that were cross-listed to the US that didn't show here because we did it manually before we adopted Prime Lister. Um, so what we would do then is we would go through each item individually, see is it listed on the US already? If it is, tag it live on both poshes and go into the listing and add the URL of the listing down here to make sure that, again, Prime Lister can be the one touch point for our entire inventory system. So when you go in and you manually add a URL, then it will show up here. You just have to make sure that when you do that, if you make any changes here, like say I add a different URL for that, you have to click Save Changes up here. And if you do that, it will also update the URLs here. So um, 
that is how you do groupings, right? Another group that we have is sold and sold consignment. I, I tag things or I group things as sold just as another way of being like, we don't have this item anymore. It is shipped and gone out of our lives. So this is kind of nice if you're wondering, hey, did that one item sell? But I, you know, I maybe I remember what it looks like, but I don't remember what I titled it. So you can't search for it otherwise. You can just go up here, filter by group, filter by solds. And so this will show you all of our Lululemons that have sold. So then if I'm ever like, oh, I can't remember if we sold that scarf, but I can't find it. This is a really easy way to double check your work and just make sure it's not hiding somewhere in your apartment because that has definitely happened to us. So that sold, um, I also do group sold consignment items because again, we pay out our consignment clients roughly once a month, uh, depending on what, how much of their stuff has sold since we last paid them. And so filtering by sold consignment is really helpful for us to just, again, double check. We haven't missed anything in tracking our consignment client stuff. Um, we also have a few other things here. So if I ever notice there's a broken link on Prime Lister and I don't have time to deal with it right away, I'll group it as link broken, just so, again, I can come back and filter by that later and when I have time and try and fix it. Uh, because batching your work is much more efficient than doing everything one at a time. Uh, anything that somehow ended up being listed on US but not on Canada, we have a two cross to Canadian Poshmark group. Uh, delete donate if it's something we have thrown out or donated um, so it's no longer in our Poshmark closets and we need to take it down. And yeah, so that's pretty much how we use groups. Now, like I said, you can only have one group per item, but you can have multiple tags per item and multiple items in a group or multiple items in a tag, right? So again, we're still searched by Lululemon. Um, so maybe we'll clear that. So let's see how to use tags. So I, for us, now that we're starting to use eBay more, it, we're basically trying to get certain items up on eBay before others, things that we think have a better chance of selling there, things that are maybe flawless, so they're less likely for people to have questions about them, um, things that are new with tags, all of kind of the better stuff in our closet is stuff we want to cross list first. So what Steph did for me, because I've been the one who's been doing most of our eBay cross listing, is Steph went through and added a tag to cross to eBay on everything in the closet that she thinks should go to eBay first. So what that lets me do when I'm ready to cross list to eBay is I just filter by that tag and you'll see these items here. So then I can just check off five or six, depending on how much time I have or how much cross listing I wanna do, cross list, eBay, and just like before, it'll open those tabs and, and yeah, we'll get those things cross-listed. Once I have cross-listed them, I go into each listing. Again, once it shows eBay as a platform here, so I know Prime Lister has picked it up, I will go in and I will just delete the tag that says to cross to eBay. Um, again, just to make it clearer to me that that item is already dealt with. I don't need to worry about it. So that's tags. Um, we also set up tags for our consignment clients. Again, this is really important. This is maybe the main value that Prime Lister adds to us that a spreadsheet wouldn't outside of just the cross listing, which let's be honest, actually, that's the main value. This is the second most valuable is Prime Lister lets us filter by all our consignment clients, which again, because we know where everything is, um, this is really important because we want to keep track of exactly who gave us what and where it is currently. So, and if it has sold. So we can see we have four consignment clients currently. I'll blur their names on the screen, but there they are. 
and anytime I want to find something from this person, just click on it. And all of the items we have listed and cross-listed and sold will come up. So that is tags. Again, here you can see that there are two tags on a single item. So this item did have a flaw, so we do have a flaw tag. Um, we don't use it too often. Um, we use it kind of inconsistently, but it's just sort of like if we happen to know something's flawed and we're going through it, we'll tag it as flawed just so we know, like, don't prioritize trying to, I don't know, cross list this item if we start on a new platform or just be aware that there is a flaw. So if Steph has to go back in and edit a description for whatever reason, it's tagged as flaw. So it jumps out at us right away. Um, so that's, let's see how you cross list and import uh, groups and tags and item SKUs. Let's see, what else do we have up here? Uh, if you are curious if it executed a command you told it to do, uh, you can go up into tasks and see your most recent tasks that Prime Lister did for you. So here it was cross post from Poshmark Canada. And that was the one that we did to the US. And then another one to eBay. Uh, and this is where we imported that that and that. So that's kind of nice just being able to see groups and tags here. This is where you go if you want to create a group that you can then apply to your listings or a tag again that you can apply to your inventory not listings. Um, and then over here at the home tab there's just a bunch of stuff to look over as you're getting started. So the last thing I want to go over it, that you can do with Prime Lister involves relisting. So relisting your stale inventory on Poshmark. If it's been up for more than 60, 70, 80, 90 days, please relist it. Do yourself a favor. It'll pop up at the top of Just In. The likers you had on it, they're not going to buy it if it's still there after that long. So we try to relist everything in our closet about 90 days after it was listed, usually a little bit faster than that. Uh, and how you go about doing that, let's go back to Poshmark Canada here. So again, here I am in Poshmark Canada. I should have mentioned as well, if you ever want to see what options you have to deal with your closet using Prime Lister, you can just click that little button there. That'll show up once you install the Prime Lister extension. So you can see here, oh hi Orca, yes. I will accept your cuddles. Thank you. So listing actions, there's cross list, import, relist, duplicate, delist, or delete. So cross list, you can use this to just cross list directly from one platform to another. So if I want to, I just check this box here, say cross list, and then again, it'll give me those same platforms to choose from. Uh, we tend not to do it this way because we bulk everything and I'm not 100% sure if this would import to your Prime Lister inventory panel first. We do bulk imports and then bulk cross lists from this inventory panel here. Um, but you can cross list just from here if you want. Uh, you can also duplicate a listing uh, and delist an item. So that is also something that you can do from the main Prime Minister inventory panel. So let's look at these Lucky Mustard Yellow Field Sandals that we just cross-listed to Poshmark US and eBay. If I wanted to, I could either delete it from marketplaces that it's currently listed on. Not going to do that. Um, or you could delist it again from certain marketplaces. If you delist it, it'll stay in your Prime Lister inventory here. Uh, if you delete from inventory, it will not. If you delete from inventory, but you don't delist it first, it'll delete it from the inventory, but it'll still be posted in these places. So things to kind of 
keep in mind as you're looking at these, like D-list takes the listing down from a certain marketplace. Not totally sure what the difference is between D-list and delete from marketplace, but maybe delete from marketplace also deletes it from your inventory, but I am not sure. I don't use that button. The last thing we're going to do is relist some of the oldest inventory on our Canadian closet. So you can say, see here that I'm on Poshmark Canada. I've sorted by just in and I've sorted by available items. So sorting by just in is what you want to do to make sure you get the oldest items and then you're just going to scroll straight to the bottom of your closet. So I'm scrolling to the bottom just by holding the end key on the keyboard. So usually when we relist, we relist overnight. Um, so it's not a time we're already using the Poshmark closets and we really really like the relisting feature. It's super easy to use. So I'm at the bottom of the closet here, you can see. So it looks like these are our oldest listings. So what we'll do is we'll just select, usually I do it in about 80 to 90 items a night. Um, so just go up, check in these boxes. So let's say I have about 90 done here and we'll click relist. So you can update the price when you're relisting. We don't bother doing that because usually Steph likes to go through and manually increase prices right before we relist. Um, and it's just the selected listings. We're not relisting the whole closet. So we say relist items. It'll say, are you sure you want to relist however many items you just selected? And you say, yes, relist now. And then it will bring them all into the bottom part of this panel. And it'll just chip away at it over an hour, half an hour, depending on how many you selected. And then the nice thing about doing relisting through Prime Lister, once you have all of your stuff imported into Prime Lister, is let's say I at some point relist these Lucky Mustard yellow heeled sandals that are currently listed on Poshmark Canada, Poshmark US, and eBay. So if I relist Poshmark Canada, what it'll do actually while it's relisting is it'll go into this item. It will delist or delete the listing for the original item. It'll create the new listing for you. So it's just in and it will delete the old URL of the item and it will update that with whatever Poshmark assigns as the new URL. So if let's say I just relisted this item, I would be able to go to open link and it would bring me to the new listing. It wouldn't give you an error and try to take you to the old listing that's not there anymore. So I think that is just about a complete overview of how we use Prime Lister. Again, why you want to use Prime Lister? If you have more than a couple hundred items in your closet and you're starting a second closet or an eBay, trust me, cross-listing manually is horrible. It takes so much time. When I was cross-listing things manually, I would have to go into one of our listings, right-click, save image as, save this image, save image number two, keep track of all of these photos, and then manually copy description, manually copy all of this. So Prime Lister, with the way it imports the photos and everything and all of the little details like the SKU, the title, the description, it will save you hours upon hours of time, which is what we all want. So we do not regret it at all. And again, it does a lot of other stuff as well, like you saw with grouping and tags. Um, it really just lets us keep track of our inventory in a way that makes sense for us. Um, and it's infinitely scalable. So if we had 10,000 items, we would still be able to use Prime Lister exactly how we're doing it now. Thank you so much for watching. That's been a crash course on Prime Lister. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below uh, and we will definitely respond to those. Uh, critiques are accepted too, but be gentle. My ego can't take much. And yeah, thank you for being here. Hit subscribe, hit like, comment, do the things.
share us with your reseller friends, and we'll see you next time.